60 million years ago, an asteroid as big as Mount Everest was headed on a deadly collision course with Earth. Now, if you pay close attention to the examples here, you'll have a great understanding of just how fucking massive this asteroid was. It is truly terrifying. And here we have it, the Chicxulub Crater, coming in at a whopping 10 kilometers. What the fuck? This massive rotten tomato was traveling through our atmosphere at 18 miles per second. Fuck me. The impact would cause a course of events that would change their lives forever. Unaware of the pending doom, these animals carry on about like it's a regular Friday night. Poor creatures. As the asteroid slams into the Earth like a fucking gavel, the impact sends bits of the Earth's surface into the atmosphere, causing scorching hot pieces of glass and rocks to rain down. Some of the debris reacted with the atmosphere, causing acid rain that would last for years. Wildfires caused by this devastating impact spread across the continent like butt cheeks. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it did just that. The location of the impact is what we know today as Mexico. The impact so powerful, it sent shockwaves through the fucking planet, causing a big ass tsunami so high it blocks out the sun. Jesus Christ. How the hell could you possibly outrun that? And this wasn't no regular tsunami. It was 30,000 times more powerful than any we've seen today. Amazing. And like Adrian Broner versus Maidana, our coastlines didn't stand a chance. The wave hit with so much force that not only did it destroy, but it reshaped the continent. Jeez. And although their fate was sealed, there were some dinosaurs furthest away from the impact that were not completely obliterated immediately. But as the dust began to settle, it was the beginning of a nuclear winter. Although not caused by nuclear weapons, still the same effect. Just ruthless. The earth became cold and dark due to the debris from the impact blocking out the sun for months, possibly even years. So terrible. As temperatures plummeted, fires released enormous amounts of greenhouse gases. The climate changed dramatically. Plants no longer could perform photosynthesis. Most of them started to die out. This disrupted the food chain, starving a lot of the animals. And the acid rain lasted for several years, causing more devastation to the ecosystems. Oceans became acidic. Most of the species did not survive because they could not adapt. These prolonged harsh conditions combined with the blast pushed about 75% of Earth's life to extinction. Unfortunately, the good news the fucking terrifying T-Rex perished. This is a creature you would not want to see roaming around today. Could you imagine being chased by a pissed off Tyrannosaur because you accidentally ran over his toe exiting the drive through of a Jack in a Box? Preposterous. A thousand years later, the planet was recovering from the post-apocalyptic winter. Still cold and food was scarce, but life was ready to make a comeback. In this world, a few little furry fuckers were crawling around. The first plants to appear were the ferns. A hundred thousand years later, Earth became a little more lively, with creatures the size of raccoons were repopulating the continents. And oceans were once again teeming with life. Fast forward to about 10 million years, mammals were on the rise. Together with birds and flowering plants, 
were flourishing on the planet. Earth was never back to its old self. After the last dinosaur died, it took the Earth millions of years to bounce back. But don't get me wrong, this world was still fucking terrifying. Like this weird looking creature right here. And this megal of fucking dawn. Good God. I think it's for the best that these massive bastards aren't around anymore. I would not want to face one of these jumping into the public pool. I've seen it happen before. I'm not lying. But, like many, I too feel sadness for these animals. Mind you, studies have shown that the number of species were in a steep decline 10 million years before the asteroid strike, until the dinosaurs were wiped out. This decline is interesting because it is worldwide and affected both carnivorous groups such as tyrannosaurs and herbivorous groups like the Triceratops. Some species declined sharply like the Ankylosaurus and Ceratopsians and only one family out of six, the Trudontids, shows a very small decline, which took place in the last five million fucking years of the dinosaur's existence. Jesus. And just what the hell caused this decline? Well, at the time, the Earth went a period of global cooling, which means it was very fucking cold. And we know that dinosaurs are neither cold-blooded nor warm-blooded like crocs, lizards, mammals and birds, but they were mesotherms. They have a metabolic system between reptiles and mammals, but still need a warm climate to maintain their temperature and thus perform basic biological functions like taking a shit. What a leg shaker. This temperature decrease must have had a very strong impact on them. And due to the hard work Long hours and perseverance of these crack-smoking scientists, they have discovered there may have been a species of dinosaur that may have survived. This species was called the Hadrosaur, or simply put, the duck-billed dinosaur. One of the few to show some form of resilience to the decline. It might have bounced back, but it's not a T-Rex, so who the fuck cares? But take a gander at this buck flirting with a female. These diverse and enduring population of dinosaurs existed during a point when the land mass was covered by shallow waters that were able to support these large fox, significantly contributing to Earth's present biodeposits. Examples of these biodeposits include limestone, marble, coal, oil, and natural gas. Nothing we use today. So why even give a fuck about dinosaurs, right? Fuck me. Where the hell is my lighter? The big questions remain. What would have happened if the asteroid had not crashed? Would dinosaurs have gone extinct anyway due to the decline that had already begun? Or could they have rebounded? It's very difficult to say. Many pol Jesus, that's a long word. Many paleontologists believe that if the dinosaurs had survived, primates, and therefore humans, would never have appeared on Earth. What a thought. This is Richard Attenborough saying, ah! Thank you.